Well, when you live in a world of terrorists and madmen, when every bad thing that happens on every corner of the earth is in your living room by the end of the day, a world where your nearest neighbor is potentially a foreign enemy, rights begin to look like a vulnerability. We're going to be talking about surveillance in our lives. This means we're going to be talking about power. Whether we're talking about Facebook, uh, determining what ads you see, or something rather more concrete, uh, information today is a convenient means. It's a mechanism for attaining a certain power. And that power today is control. Surveillance technologies have outpaced democratic controls. A generation ago, surveillance was extremely expensive. There was a natural limitation imposed upon it. That is, the governments had to spend huge, extraordinary sums to track lone, isolated individuals. To know a particular person's location might involve uh, many teams of officers, both in buildings and out on the streets, uh, working in shifts. But today, that dynamic is reversed. One guy sitting in front of a monitor can track with precision an unimaginably large number of people. For the first time in human history, it's both technologically and financially feasible for governments to track and store nearly complete records of our private lives. Now, this is not science fiction. Uh, this is happening now. When we look at the construction of facilities such as this, the NSA's data center in uh, Bluffdale, this was called by them uh, the MDR, the Massive Data Repository. They called it that for a reason. This was not the targeted data repository. This was not something uh, that was designed just to watch this person or that person. It's because they were ingesting everything, everywhere, and saving it in case it might be of interest later, in case something came up. Someone who previously, there was no justification to watch, someone who had committed no crime, someone who was an ordinary person, would have their life captured, crystallized, compressed, and stored perfectly, timelessly, for five years or more, just in case they wanted to look at them. And this is what's happening today. 